If you've grown tired of getting irrelevant or incorrect results when using Google Search, this video is for you. I'll show you these search queries, symbols, and operators that will get you better results. Coming up next on Tech Gumbo. With nearly two dozen to get through, I'll go through these at a quicker pace than usual. For those that you don't know, I'd advise pausing the video and try them out on your own. Let's start with the basic informational queries first. To get the weather forecast for a specific location or zip code, type weather, followed by the location or zip code. I'll go with one here in New Orleans. You'll now see the current temperature in Fahrenheit or Celsius based on your region, along with the eight day forecast. You can also check the precipitation and wind speed. If you ever need to check the current time for any location, type time and the location. Let's go with London. This is especially handy if you have friends, family, or have business dealings and other time zones. To translate any word, term, or phrase into another language, first type translate, followed by what you want translated, then enter the language. Here you can copy what has been translated and paste it wherever you need it. Clicking on the speaker icon will let you hear the pronunciation. Internet de banda ancha. To get the definition of any word, type define, followed by the word you want to find. Let's go with fungible. Along with the definition, clicking the speaker icon will let you hear how it's pronounced. Fungible. To quickly get a map of any location, type map followed by the location. Clicking on the map will open the location in Google Maps and give you additional information in the left pane about that location. This next one is for those of you that play the stock market. To find the price of a stock, type stock, then enter the name of the company, or if you know it, the stock ticker symbol. This will give you the current value with additional information. For those of you familiar with the GameStop stock, it's been on a wild ride this past year with a low of less than $4 and a high of $483 per share. To convert the measurement of one unit to another, type the amount of one unit, followed by the word two, then the other unit to be compared. In this example, it shows that one foot equals 12 inches. You can also convert currency as well. In this example, we'll convert one US dollar to a Euro. First type the amount of the currency unit, followed by the word N, then enter the other currency. The US dollar is equal to 0.84 Euro. On this page, there are drop down menus to do other comparisons. Let's kick things up a notch and take a look at the search operators and symbols that can help to give you more efficient results by filtering your search queries. Using the hashtag symbol in front of a word or phrase gets you results using that hashtag. Just enter the hashtag symbol with no space followed by the word or phrase. Similar to the hashtag, using the at symbol helps to find content on social media. Type the at symbol followed by the word or phrase. Using the dollar sign in front of a number helps to find items at or around a certain price point. Enter the name of an item, followed by the price. Using two periods between two numbers helps to search within a range of numbers. For example, I'll type the name of an item. A price, two periods, and another price. For an exact match, put your search term in quotation marks. I've used this a few times for song lyrics to find the title of a song. Begin with a quotation mark. Enter your search term. This is a song lyric. And finish with another quotation mark. If you're a member of the KISS Army, I'm sure you already knew this one. If you want to exclude certain words from search terms in the results, put the minus symbol in front of the word. 
For example, doing a search on Microsoft, excluding Bill Gates from the results, would be Microsoft minus Gates. The asterisk symbol is known as the wildcard. Using it allows any word to be used in its place. For example, best asterisk by state. You'll notice that the top three results have places, colleges, and public schools in place of the wildcard. For this one, use the word AND, all caps, to get results using two terms. Here's an example. Let's do a search for Bieber and Brittany. Remember the word AND has to be all capitalized. And there you go. Using OR in place of AND will give results with one of your terms, but not both. OR also has to be capitalized. Let's go with Elon or Tesla. In place of OR, you can also use the vertical slash. Grouping commands together using parenthesis can improve the logic of a search query. For example, inside the parenthesis, I'll type best, do a vertical slash, worst. Outside of that, pizza. When you only want results from a specific website, type site, colon, and the name of the site. This next operator helps you find web pages with only a certain distance between your keywords. In this example, my two keywords are program and code. I first type program. If I wanted the max distance between each word to be three, I would then type around all uppercase and then the number three in parentheses, followed by the other keyword. If you're looking for websites with similar content to another website, type related, colon, and the name of the site. Apparently the 1990s are calling, AOL and Yahoo are the top two results. This next one is useful when trying to visit a site that is slow or not responding. Type cache, colon, followed by the name of the site. You'll now get a snapshot of that web page the last time Google visited that page. This operator will give you results with images of the dimensions you specify. You don't need to be in Google Images to begin this search. Type your search term, image size, colon, then enter the dimensions with X height. I'll go with 1920 by 1080. Here at the top, you could select the Images tab or select View All. All images shown will be the exact size you entered. If you want results listing one type of file type, first enter your search term, file type, colon, and the specific file type. We'll go with PDF. The drunken monkey hypothesis looks interesting. My favorite of all mentioned so far is the all in title operator, which gives results with all keywords in the title. For example, type all in title, colon, and type your keywords. Other variations of this search include all in URL and all in text. I'll show those to you right now with the same keywords. In the search box, replace title with URL. This will get you results with all your keywords in the URL. I'm gonna replace URL with text. Using all in text will show results matching all your keywords in the body of a web page. Thanks for watching. If this video is useful for you, give it a thumbs up and share with others. If there's a search query, symbol, or operator that I did not mention, let us know about it in the comments. And if you're new to our channel, subscribe and click the notification bell to stay up to date with the latest from Google and other tech-related stuff here on Tech Gumbo.